In this episode, we hop on a bus back to Belair. This is our second time doing this trip. Aurora province is just so beautiful, we wanted to go back again. So join us on another bus ride back to Belair. Hello! So we are here right now in Cubao Station because we are about to hop on a bus to go to Belair. But this video is going to be a little bit different. This video, pag-uusapan natin how we can travel with your dogs or pets on a bus. So, paano nga ba mag-travel kasama ang inyong pets sa bus? Let's find out. So, ang requirement for the bus for Milka to be able to ride is this vaccination card. So, ito yung vaccination records niya. And nandito lahat yung mga records yung mga shots, and rabies, deworming, everything. So we want to have this along with us um, all the time kasi it's actually part of the requirements. Pero so far, never pa sa aming pinapresent ito. Pero we want to have it lang with us all the time just to be sure. For other bus companies, humihingi rin sila ng live animal transport na pwede mo makuha sa diliman. Pero so far, isa pa lang ang bus line na narinig namin na nag-require nito which is Partas. So far, sa other bus lines na sinakyan namin hindi. So, another requirement is for your pet to have their own seat sa bus. So, para sa amin, tatlo yung binili namin tickets. And, kailangan ninyo i-print talaga yung tickets kung ibubook ninyo siya online because they really ask for it here at the station. And, that's what we've encountered with all of the other bus companies. Dapat talaga printed yung mga tickets. So we just got the real tickets. I think the blue tickets are finished for us. We're ready to go. Ready now? Ready, Kana? Hey, that's our bus. Okay, so one other thing we make sure to do is that Milka is hydrated and Kamiren hydrated because it's so hot in the summer. But we also come to the bus station early para makawili pa rin si Milka before bumalis yung biyahe. Kasi syempre, we're gonna be on the bus for at least mga 5 to 6 hours. So, better safe than so. Okay, finish siya mag so we can ride the bus back. One of the requirements when riding a bus is diapers. So, yan, lalagyan si Milka ng diaper na. Perfect! So, ito na yung seat namin dalawa ni Milka. And I like to get all of our stuff ready para yung pagdating niya, ito na yung lalagyan niya. Guys, by the way, required na merong carry bag yung mga pets niyo when you are gonna be boarding the buses here in the Philippines. Yay! Ready, Mommy Ray? <laughs> Okay, you guys, so actually, super lucky namin to be traveling with Milka because it gives us an extra space to put our luggage. So yung mga gamit namin, usually, linalagay lang namin doon sa foot space niya. <laughs> she's very, very, ano naman, she's very, very behaved when it comes to traveling. Ready! One thing we really, really like sa Genesis Joy Bus, na ba, yung itong bus na to is yung bag ni Milka fits perfect dun sa upuan. You like this bus, no? Okay, you guys. So, pagdating natin sa Balair, we're gonna show you what we pack for Milka when we're on the road. Kasi meron siya talaga iba-ibang mga gamit na dala, especially since we also ride the motorcycle kapag dating namin sa mga destinations na. So, syempre kasama din ito. Okay, so 30 minutes until takeoff. Oh, we are so excited. Gusto na rin namin matulog. You can see it's my sarili window when we're on the bus. Yes, dito lang tayo. So, malapit na kami umalis. Time to bond again. Okay, 
you guys. So we are officially on the way. We'll see you guys in Bulay. Good night. So we made it here to our homestay. We're back in Akao, guys. It's really so nice to be back here, Grabo. <sighs> it feels like home. This is like home away from home. So yeah. happy to be back. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our room. So there are two queen sized a bit. Of course, this will be our bed, and this will be Melka's bed. <laughs> and then, of course, my aircon, TV, and here's the toilet. Nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, we just woke up from our nap. And uh, it's so good. We feel so refreshed. So, we thought we would show you kung ano yung ibang gamit ni Milka that we bring along the trips to make it easier for us and her to enjoy our vacations. So one of the important things when we're traveling is we always have her harness with her. So yung harness niya is not a collar type. So talagang harness na nakakabit sa likod. And also, this is tethered to me directly na nakabelt like this. This way, yung hands ko are always free. And then she can always follow me wherever I go. Okay, so probably one of the most important things to note that we bring for Milka, you know, that yung bag, she has this one that she carries around. She has her luggage that goes in her carry case. So I think carry case, it's one of the most important things that we can ever bring for her. Because this allows her to go on the bus with us and super convenient. Now. So this one, it actually extends. Yeah. So, madali siyang magkakasya sa loob. Yeah. And then, super dami yung pockets. It has one here. Tapos, on the other side, it also has an extension. Like this. Para pwede niya i-dino yung head niya ganun. Kaya kapag nakikita niyo siya sa bus special, makalabas yung ears. Yeah. And you can also use this as like a dog house. So we're able to keep so many things in here. Her food goes in here too. In the front, meron tayo ano niya, um, extra na harness. Kasi she tends to get sand all over the other one. So meron kami isang clean harness. She also has her shampoo, her travel bowl, an extra leash, and the food pack. Here, she has diapers for the bus. Now, ito yung pinakaayaw kong part ng dala niya. Kasi, I'm not sure if she will ever need it, pero meron lang kaming dala just in case. So, Milka doesn't really bark ever. But, hindi ko alam if, you know, there are buses that will require it, we just bring it just in case. Pero ayaw namin talaga to gamitin. It's a muzzle. Hmm, please, huwag niyo kami require gamitin to. So, yung lining na itong bag na to is actually waterproof. Ito. So, 
kung natanggal siya, and also, also kung gusto mo gamitin yung soft part niya, pag magiging dog bed siya, it's really soft and malambot for her. So, natatanggal pa completely. Yeah. And then inside the back is we have her motorcycle back. So, this is what we use pag sinasakay namin siya sa motor para she's at my back lang nakasabit lang siya sa likod ko. And she's gonna be secured there for the ride of the motorcycle. We also have her floaties. So, meron na siyang life vest when we go swimming. Alam mo naman si Milka, napakahilig sa water. Meron tayo niya. Also, when we're traveling, we always have two bowls. One for food and one for water. Both yan are collapsible. So, they are very, very convenient for storage. And we also have pee pads. But the pee pads, we always use for pagpatong sa water bowl niya para hindi nagiging messy sa room. Her small bags. Ito, dinadala lang niya ito kapag nagbo-boss kami. And the reality is, she's carrying this for me. Kasi gamit ko yun nasa loob. Mga boss essentials. Eye mask, candy, socks, noise cancelling na earphones. Yan na yun. Yan yung dala ng maliit niyang backpack. Tapos, um, this is her luggage. So, this one, dinadala namin ito on all of the adventures. Dinalagay lang namin siya dun sa ilalim nung ano, nung motor, motor, motorcycle backpack niya. Kasi the reality is, medyo malaki yung backpack na yun for Milka. So, this serves as her upuan when we're on the bike. So, what's inside of it? Ito guys, ang, ang bilib ako dito sa bag na to. Ang daming lamag. Baby wipes. Sunblock for us. Milka's towel. Alcohol. Mosquito repellent. Reflector for the motor. Yung mga poop bag. Milka has her raincoat. Ayan. Si Milka kasi giniginaw kapag basa siya tas nagmotor. So we we thought it would be better nang may dala siyang raincoat niya. It's also reflectorized. A light color for her. It blinks kasi at night hindi siya nakikita. Toothbrush namin. Mga tali ng buhok. May clothes si Milka dito. She has a shirt. Because yun nga. Actually si Milka ginawin. Random mga personal items namin dalawa. That's it. That's all of Milka's things. And then all of these things just make traveling so much easier for us whether we're on a bus, on a motorcycle, kung saan man kami pupunta, mag-hike, mag-beach, mag pang falls, anywhere really. So we are so happy with this setup. And mukhang si Milka naman, super happy din with all of the things that she has. Kasi nag enjoy siya. Okay, so that's how we travel with Milka. We'll end the vlog here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Ang sakit sa put! Konti na lang! Push, push, carry on! <laughs>、don't go faster. Yoga, yoga. Empowerment. <laughs>